In this video, we will show you the best way to start a Clash of Clans attack. Throughout the video, we will explain the top four methods for you to start out an attack to help you get the three stars. Now, it's pretty exciting because the first two attacks we will be showing you as live attacks by myself. The first one, we are going to use a traditional Golem Wall Wrecker kill squad, and the second, we are going to use an Electron to start the Clash of Clans attack. After that, we will explain two other fantastic methods to help you get the three stars, but without further ado, let's get into it. Plan for this attack is that it's a Town Hall 10. We're going to be using Hog Riders and a Kill Squad from this right hand side. It is a no dip war, so let's start with a Goblin on the Town Hall. Make sure we do not miss that. We're going to just dive straight into it. Let's go, guys. We've got a Goblin on there just to start with. Golem alongside a couple of Wizards to set the funnel. Golem here and a couple of Wizards to set that funnel, followed by the Wall Wrecker here. Let's get the King in there to help out as well. Then we are basically going to be sending our Hog Riders in from that side. As soon as we think the Wall Wreck is about to bust the wall, I'll send the Queen in as well. Let's go for that now. Baby Dragon and Ice Golem coming out of the CC. Queen should get straight into the base here. Then we're going to pop the King's ability in a second. Just use that Rage. Once the Wall Wrecker pops out the, uh, the troops, I will indeed. Queen's going to walk here as well. Let's use that Freeze. As soon as the troops come out of that wall wrecker, I'm actually going to use the heal. Boom, there goes the heal. Now let's start the hog riders on this side to try and merge in and protect our troops. Let's put a heal onto the hog riders here. Still watching for the queen ability here. Now let's start with a couple of... Let's get a heal there for the... Oh, that was a close one with them hog riders. But I think we might be all right there. Let's see, we've got a giant bomb on the outside, which is not good. I have to hold on to the heel here for these hog riders coming down to this final section and this bomb tower. Let's get a wizard at the top trying to help out here. We should be okay. I know there's a giant bomb down by the Tesla. Queen is doing an epic job. If she gets that bomb tower, which she does, redirects the hogs. We should be good for the three stars on this one, guys. If the hog riders make it through... Giant bomb right at the end. That was crazy. But we're going to kick off this video of live attacks with a three star at Town Hall 10. Epic stuff. Let's press that Queen's ability. I don't think there's too much more that we need to analyze on that one. The kill squad worked perfectly. Everything went to plan. And basically, getting them hog riders in quick enough was exactly what I needed to do to protect my Queen. And as you can see, that has got us the three stars. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so for this attack, we are going to be doing an Electron strategy. We're going to be coming in from the left-hand side, jumping into the bottom inferno and lolloing around the top. So I'll talk you through it, guys, but here we go. Let's start out with a bowler right down on this spell factory. That's going to basically set up a funnel here. Then we are starting the Electron down in this bottom area. So here we go. Couple of loons first, because I do want the uh, the slammer to get relatively far into the base here. Should go to the air defense next. That is perfect. Clone and rage. Beautiful. That is what we wanted, guys. But we do need the queen down from the e-drag. She needs to turn and get to the e-drag. It's going to go to the dragon here first, I think. Gets the queen, though. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now let's go with the king jump spell baby dragon here three hog riders here queen let's go boys let's get that dragon down that's obviously going to be major we then want to try and get the inferno tower what what is the king doing why did you jump back out of the base oh my word get get in there and get that sweeper queen go into the base please Oh, what is she doing? Oh, not what we wanted. Okay, so we're going to have to start here.
going to have to make sure we get this back end looning perfect. In it comes, ready to try and distract for that wizard tower. It's doing a nice job so far. It might have been in a tad early, but we might hit fortunate here, guys. We've got plenty of balloons around the base. Minions and lava pups. That was an awful attack. But I might just be okay here. I cannot believe that that is going to work. Wow, GG's. A six pack it is going to be in this war. And wow, that is incredible. We missed this, the multi inferno at the bottom of the base there, but amazingly managed to send in a couple of loons in order to get there. Held on to that freeze. I didn't want to use it too early. I could have used it straight away onto the sweeper to get in, but then I would have basically lost that pack of loons. I tried to hold on to them, and man, that was a scrappy attack, but we did get the three. All right, guys, let's move on to the third way that we are going to show you on starting a Clash of Clans attack. And this one is going to be the Queen Charge. Now, I will move back to them first two entries. We had the Golem traditional kill squad entry and the Electron. But whilst I had examples with live attacks, I thought it would be pretty cool. This one is the Queen Charge, and we are basically funneling her into the base first. We used a Baby Dragon and a Wizard at the top, along alongside a king at the bottom, the king at the bottom, in order to send the queen in. Now there's various ways of getting the queen into the base. On this attack we're using the wall wrecker, able to open up a number of compartments, but you could use wall breakers, the jump spell, whatever. Now in terms of all of these entries, what you want to think about is phases of the attack. So the kill squad entry is just the first phase. What phase works best with the attack you're trying to do? And you can mix and match. It's not like they have to go hand in hand and one has to go with another. So for this one, we were able to directly target an air defense, keep the healers out of range, and the multi-inferno that was down here means it's not going to pick up damage onto the queen. We don't have to freeze it. She can be healed through it. And from down in this area, the queen can reach across to take out the enemy queen, take out the CC, and what you will see here as well as she's going to take out the enemy king. Now that is important in some kill squads and not in others. That's where I'm telling you, you have to think about the phases of the attack and merge them together. We explained this in yesterday's video where we did talk about the kill squad queen charge and how it's more effective now at town hall 11 and 12 if you missed that one i will link it at the end of the video but you're basically trying to think about what am i finishing off what is phase number two and three how does my initial phase set that one up so for hog riders the king can be dangerous so you want to try and take the king out as part of them initial kill squads but for a lalo or an air attack the king's not really going to do anything so you don't need to factor the king in make sense guys i hope it does that is the third kill squad entry that we will show you we have one more which is going to be the battle blimp and sui hero method using a suicide kill squad in terms of heroes and a suicide siege machine so kind of two phases if you will before you start the main attack and basically they are some of the top methods now they're not the only methods sometimes people don't really even have kill squads factored in sometimes you just set up a funnel on one side and then the other However, we'll move on to that in a second. I really want to just explain in a little bit more depth the first two attacks we showed you. So this is the Electron method. Why exactly does it work here? Well, what you want to look at is sweepers. There's one pointed to the top, one pointed to the bottom. So I could send a stone slammer in from either side. What do you want to try and take out? You want to try and take out the queen, and if you can, a multi-inferno. The battle blimp can be an option, but from this left-hand side, I can notice that there's going to be a lot of damage onto the stone slammer, but I can also path it easily from here to the cannon, to the air defense, and I knew it would pop out around about that area. Now, depending on what you want to take out will depend on how many clone spells you will use, but you will need a rage. I've taken out defenses in that area, and the Electro Dragon is purely for the enemy queen, and as you can see, the enemy CC. But we do end up continuing the kill squad with my suicide heroes, if you will. So look at what we managed to take out at the top here. 
an entire section of the base, knocking down the queen, luring the CC, that's about to go down as well, and taking out an air defense and a bunch of other defenses whilst we're at it. This is kind of a second phase of the attack, if you will. Remember I talked about the different phases? This is a suicide hero method. Now the idea was actually the king and queen got in and take took this section down, but it didn't happen, hence why I then had to send some loons to compensate. But that is the Electron method we used in this area, which I wanted to show you. You have seen the rest of this attack, so we are going to skip it, guys. Move on to that traditional kill squad entry we used at the start. Again, we're just briefly going over these before moving back to the final entry point and way to start an attack that I want to show you in this video. So what are we doing with this one? Well, why I'm taking two golems is I actually want to take pretty much all of this look there's all of the wizard towers two multi infernos the king queen CC so much value in the center there that basically we need to get in and take that out now if you are wanting to take out that much value you're going to need some golems as well to get a little bit deeper into the base but that's perfect because I can send some wizards in order to create the funnel in order to get my troops into the base now again I am using the wall wrecker but you could ideally use wall breakers or a jump spell here whatever you wanted I've created the funnel I held back on the queen because there was a good chance she could walk and she nearly did but she comes into the middle of the base here we're going to take down the CC we are going to be able to get all of the splash damage defenses so that means that mass troops can work reasonably well hog riders there's not going to be a huge amount of damage the king is something that's going to be able to go down at this point as well so all is good but i want to protect the kill squad as well so whilst all of this is still alive i get the hog riders in to take out the defenses and what that means is i can keep my queen alive as much as possible so that she can then help with cleanup she might even help with final defenses which she actually does comes down if you remember the replay and gets the bomb tower so that was the traditional entry again you can set up a number of attacks using that you might set up a lava loon a number of different things it depends on what you can take out if you can take out all of the air defense in that area you might then go for a dragon attack or you might go for the lava loon attack again select the phase that best fits in with the next phase if that makes sense finally we have the suicide method now this is the suicide hero and suicide blimp method so in comes the blimp and with the balloons inside we're able to get the single inferno we actually get a couple of other defenses with it as well which is massive guys plus a big bonus is luring the dragon from that clan castle the king comes in at the top here able to do a quick king swap if you will take out the king from the defending team but that's not really going to matter because we have an enemy um, Lava Loon is the attack coming in, shall we say. But the King is able to get two Teslas, able to get an Archer Tower. Queen is able to do exactly the same on this top side. So basically, we've now cleared out this massive section at the top. The sweepers are both pointing down to the bottom, so we don't really have to worry about the Lalo. The only thing is the enemy Queen we don't really have at this point. So that is where the Rage spell comes in, followed by the Skeleton spell in order to take her out. So again, it's not like... Anything with a kill squad has to be, you need to get the queen. You don't have to. It depends on what value you can get out of the base. There are ways and means, but it depends on what level you are as well. Doing this in terms of taking the queen mid-raid is a little bit more of an advanced method. I'd probably say the very first one you've seen in this video, using the golems is your most traditional kill squad. It's probably the easiest way to do anything to begin with. Then you probably are looking at your suicide heroes. This one is probably the next simplistic, followed by the electron, and finally the queen charge is relatively hard, does take a lot of practice, but guys, that's where the fun is within this game. Make sure you are continuing to practice. If you've enjoyed this Town Hall 10 video, I've linked up above me here the top three Town Hall 10 attacks right now. And also, if you are interested in checking out that video where we explained how the Queen is a little bit more effective at 10 and 11, that one is linked on the screen there as well. But until next time, guys, peace out.